it's Jessica and today I'm going to be doing a review and swatches of the $2 and I mean like $1.99 or 99 cents when they're on sale NYC Expert Last Lip Colors. I have five different shades I'm going to swatch for you both on my lips and on my hands so you can kind of compare the colors at the end so you can see what they look like side by side. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches and then afterwards I'll talk about the pros and cons of this product and whether or not I think it's worth picking up. These are very pigmented, very creamy. I think they go on very creamily. Um, the one I'm wearing on my lips right now is Creamy Mauve, and it's the one I originally bought that I was kind of drawn to because it's just such a nice... I mean, I almost wouldn't call it mauve because to me, at least on my lips, it's very almost pinky, but it's the perfect light pink. I just think it's so wearable. It doesn't look weird in person um, because some light pinks, at least on me, just look like too kind of Barbie like if you know what I mean by that reference it's just very um, looks almost too young on me than what I don't know so I really really like this band I don't know where I was going with that story but I really really like this pink um, another one I really like is the bright red one it's in velvety fuchsia it's just such a beautiful not just red but it's got that kind of pink turn to it, which I'm sure is why it's called fuchsia, but I do feel like it's not quite just fuchsia, it's like right in between, and I love that about it. Um, and I don't know that I have a shade quite like this, so I really like all of these a lot. I mean, all of them are good, but these are kind of the two that I really feel strongly about that I really, really like. Um, for $1.99, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I mean, you really can't, and especially like, this is a great one if you needed like a certain lip color for like Halloween or something, and you know you're only gonna wear it once, this is a great one because they actually perform really well, but they're only $1.99, so you won't feel bad if you don't really use it again. You know what I mean? I just said you know what I mean a lot. I used to say it more than I do, but I still say it too much. Okay, so, um, so we know the price is good. The packaging I don't love because it's that kind where you have to like not be shaky because if you are, you might get the lipstick all over the lid, so you have to be like the most careful you've ever been. It's like performing surgery. Um, so the packaging I don't love, but other I think it's cute, but obviously the lid situation, it's kind of like the Wet n Wild Megalass ones where you're like always like nervous, you're gonna get it everywhere. Um, the, these don't really have a smell. Well, it's got the tiny bit of like a plasticky smell. I don't even know if I would call it plasticky. It's got kind of a little bit of like a perfumed plastic smell but it's so slight that I've never noticed on my lips and I'm the kind that like the Milani ones that smell like melon, I can't, I had to get rid of all of them. So that bothered me, but this doesn't. So if that helps you as like a point of reference with the how much of a smell it has, this one doesn't bother me at all. There's a pretty wide shade range. I can list right here on the screen how many there are in the range because I don't know off the top of my head. Um, but I remember sitting in the store and thinking that I already had this and I knew I wanted to get more and I had four in my hand. I was like, that's probably plenty, but there were a lot to choose from, especially for something that's only $1.99. I feel like some drugstore brands only have like six different shades if it's this cheap, whereas this one and the Wet n Wild Megalass, they have a pretty decent range, but these are way creamier, way creamier than the Megalass. And you guys know I like those Wet n Wild ones, but... I also told you guys in that video where I was talking about it that you do have to kind of get it going before it's anywhere near creamy. These are creamy right off the bat. So hopefully this review and swatch video was helpful for you guys. If you are interested in more of my lip swatch videos, I do a lot of these for drugstore lipsticks. I've done um, a couple e.l.f., um, like their matte lip color. I've done a swatch video of those. 
I've done some for the Revlon lipsticks that have been around for decades and decades, like 70 years. I'll link those below as well, and it might be linked in my little cards if you see that little eye up there. If you hover over it, you'll see videos I recommended. I think that's so cool. I've been messing around with those, and I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. So now I'm looking at the little eye on like everyone's videos and looking at the videos they recommend. Anyway, so definitely subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. I do them all the time, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.